Okay, I keep all my passwords uh, in a spreadsheet, love it or hate it. Um, I keep them on a thumb drive, and I type them in, and then I type out the description so that I know the difference between a lot of these similar looking characters. This gets tedious, so I decided to write a function in OpenOffice. OpenOffice uses um, OpenOffice Basic, which is a lot like Visual Basic for applications, which Microsoft Office uses. Um, I recorded a quick macro just to see what it looked like. You can see Java objects, they're dispatching function calls to those using uh, objects to hold the uh, argument values. Wrote my own function, get char names, takes text to describe as a string, and returns a string. And we have the description we're going to build, which is a string. We have the index of the char we're going to work on uh, one at a time as a long. And using the for next construct, we're going to say for the char index is one to the length of the string. Um, normally, uh, in like Java, strings would start at index zero, just like an array. Um, but in uh, OpenOffice Basic, it goes one, uh, starts at the index, starts at one. So we take our text description and append to it um, the call to get char desk with uh, the next character in the string using mid. So you call mid with the text. The index of the char you want, we just want uh, a string of length one, the next character, and then we put a space in there. So um, the text description is itself, and the description of the next letter in the text we're going to describe, and then the call to get char desk is a string, and it just calls switch. And so for each lowercase letter, you get low dash and the letter. For each uppercase, you get up dash and the uppercase letter. And then for numbers, you get the number. For symbols, you get a description of the symbol. Uh, the only trouble I ran into was with double quotes in OpenOffice. It uses ASCII quotes and, uh, or sorry, um, uh, Unicode quotes or ASCII quotes. So the Unicode Unicode open is 8220, Unicode close is 8221, and then the regular ASCII quote is uh, happens to be 34. But you can just put the doubled up double quote in a string, and that's what uh, OpenOffice Basic will interpret as a double quote within a string. And there you have it. So if I delete my description here. I already have the description pre-filled in in the line above. Uh, interesting thing with an empty string, it seems to get zero because the description I write back is zero. So we'll drag that down and there we go. We have our uh, confusing uh, password spelled out um, in, uh, in words. And then you can tell when it says it's uppercase, you know that must be an uppercase I because if it's L, it'll look like that. If it's a lowercase and it looks like that, we know it's L because if it was an I, it would look like that. And then we have things like zero, uppercase O, lowercase O, um, easy peasy. So if we don't understand this or we get it wrong, we can always look at the description. Thanks for watching.